How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install an occupancy sensor. Alright, let's do this. In it to win it. Before you start, if you don't feel safe working around with live power, you should turn off the breaker. Next, I'm going to take off the plate. Now I'm going to take off the switch. If you have bought the same switch as I have, if you have a neutral wire in your box, you should use it. Just remove this green sleeve. If you don't have neutral wire, then use this as a ground wire. Next, these two will be your travelers for your three-way wires. Put your red with the blue and then black with black. And this last wire is your switch leg or the power side. If you're using this as a single pole switch, the white wire with the neutral wires, if you don't have it, use it as a ground wire. If you have blue wire, you'll be capping it off, you won't be needing it. And then the black with the black, and the black with the other black, it doesn't matter, you can alternate. It'll still work as a single pole switch. And then this with the rest of the ground. I'm going to do this live. If you're doing this live, just be very careful not to touch any of the bare copper or any screws. You could get shot. So I'm going to loosen this and I'm going to cap this off. And we'll do the same for the rest of them. So remember this wire, this wire, it came off the black screw. These two wires will be my travelers. I'm going to start off with grounding the switch. I'm going to start off with grounding the switch. You put it under the ground screw. It'll be a green screw. Next, I want to splice my white wire with the rest of the white wires. When you're splicing together, make sure you don't want to leave any copper showing out of the moret. Make sure there's no copper showing, this is good. I'm going to put this back in place. Now I'm going to splice the travelers, red with the blue. I cut these down to one about half an inch. It doesn't need to be too long. Now the other traveler, black with black. Now lastly, the switch leg or the live wire will go with the last final black bar on your switch. And if this was a single pole switch, you would just connect these two and that's it. Now I can put my switch back into the wall.
after you have installed your switch, you can change the settings of your occupancy sensor. So I want my timeout to be one minute. So all I would have to do is hold this and see two flashes. Now let go. That was two flashes. That was timeout for one minute. Now I want to have this at sensor mode to be auto on, auto off. So I'll hold this for one flash. Now that's one flash and let go. Now I want the motion sensitivity to be high. And that asks for two flashes. So I'm gonna press this button on the side and this one in the middle and look for two flashes. One, two. Now I am all set to put back my plate on. Once you have your cover back on, you can test it out. Thank you for watching this video and remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. There's going to be weekly videos making for you. Peace out.